There's positive news on the COVID front tonight. Total hospitalizations here in Jefferson County keep going down. We have a total of 135 COVID patients in the regular rooms and in the ICU. A week ago, that number was 155, so down 20 patients. A new COVID-19 vaccine is on the horizon. This one for kids younger than five, and it could be here by the end of the month. Today, Pfizer asked the FDA to authorize this vaccine. Pfizer says it is safe, but what do pediatricians think? 12 News reporter Amelia White has their perspective, all new at 10. Children under five are the only Americans who aren't eligible to be vaccinated against COVID-19. That's 19 million kids. And as hospitalizations soar during this pandemic, we those are, those are the only ones unprotected or that can't be protected. But there could be promising news with a possible vaccine coming for these young kids. Pfizer is doing is they're submitting a e, uh, emergency use authorization for a, what they call a rolling submission for um, the uh, COVID vaccine for kids. Dr. Ramona Taya Decor is a Beaumont pediatrician. She and over 250 pediatricians signed a petition to get vaccines in kids as young as six months old. I think it did make a difference. We submitted this to the CDC uh, and it, it did, uh, it did, uh, it made news and um, I think that along with a, 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 um, there's an advocacy group of uh, made up of parents, uh, physicians, scientists, everybody um, uh, called Protect Our Children. Pfizer aims to give children shots that contain one tenth of the dose given to adults. So I know for for a lot of my patients who have um, who have, you know, congenital heart defects or who are on events. Um, these parents are really waiting and, and hoping for a vaccine as soon as possible. The FDA is expected to eventually sign off on three doses for kids. For now, regulators are focusing on authorizing two shots that they believe will provide enough protection. Uh, there aren't a lot of mitigation uh, going on in Texas, especially um, kids are going unmasked. And so I think this will really make a difference in a lot of children uh, to, to minimize spread and to also minimize severe disease and hospitalization. In Beaumont, Amelia White, 12 News.